Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about or play games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and got to Area 3, fought a couple of boss ghosts. I missed out on a golden mouse and that sucked, but hopefully this time we won't miss out on anything. I'm going to skip that cutscene because we've seen it a couple times. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check my map real quick because there's... Okay, yeah, there's a room here on the first floor that I want to go to real quick. It's the billiards room. Now, first, what you need to do first and foremost before anything else is you need to check one of these chairs. Because in, in one of these chairs is a, a speedy spirit. And it has a sapphire in it, and it only appears if Slim Bankshot is in the room. He's the boss ghost, by the way, Slim Bankshot. Pretty funny name if you ask me. So, the whole gimmick with his boss is that I keep accidentally getting pool balls, which is good because the whole gimmick with his boss fight is he's gonna hit these pool balls, air, or billiards balls. I'm always confused about the distinction between billiards and pool. I don't know if they're the same thing or something like that. But anyways, after you throw three of these things at him... Ah, crud! Dang it! Okay, I'm definitely not getting a cold on him. Yeah, I forgot if I had to flash him with my flashlight or just suck him up. I guess it was just suck him up. But now we have to wait for him to go around. Okay. I don't need to use the flashlight, just use the vacuum to suck him up. I'm unfortunately not getting a big pearl, but... You know what? Ah. I haven't played this game in a little bit. It's been a little, little while since my last recording session, so I apologize if I'm a bit rusty at this game. Fun fact, I'm recording this in September. I think today's date is September 20th. But uh, I'm uploading this in early October. Each of my... This Let's Play and my next Let's Play are going to have reasons as to why they're uploaded in certain months. So, I hope my Luigi's Mansion Let's Play ends before November, or at least before late November, because my next Let's Play- oh hey, a diamond! But yeah, my next Let's Play is going to start in late November, because that's when it takes place in late November. This is Boohoo! Hey, that was actually pretty easy. A lot easier than I expected, anyway. Boo number 18. Sorry if I sound a bit weird, if I'm a bit louder than normal or quieter than normal, or if I slur my words a bit more. But I'm currently dealing with a sickness, and I can't hear out of my left ear. Thankfully, no, I don't think any permanent damage is being done to my ear, but... But, you know, it still sucks because typically I have one ear in my headphones and one ear not wearing the headphones so that I can hear myself and know that I'm speaking properly. But I've been really wanting to play this game and I didn't just want to wait till the sickness died down. So, apologies for that if I suck at talking. Forgot to mention, this is the projector room, and if you suck off the uh, projector thing here, then you get a little poster of a boo that says, get out of here. Can I get three at the same time? Ah, dang it. I flashed three of them with my flashlight, but I only got one. These are probably the most annoying ghosts to deal with, because if you... Just let one roam around and it can sneak up behind you and ruin your chances of getting a ghost. Good what this is. Oh yeah, it's Mario's glove. Found Mario's glove. Ew, it's a little sweaty. So yeah, we'll take that to Madame Clairvoyant in a little bit. Got the boo here. 
Shambu. Nice. 19. We're almost at 20. I forget if Egad says anything for getting ghosts other than booze will not appear in the direction you're... Okay, yeah, this is something I explained in the first episode where they won't appear if you're looking at them, so that's why I like to spin around in a circle sometimes to get them to spawn. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. I just 100%ed the first floor, which is pretty cool. Now, I think, uh, if I'm right, if we go to the second floor, yeah, there's a new door over there that we need to go check out as well. This is why I, uh, this is why I fought both the lady in the bathtub and Nana at the same time, instead of just fighting the lady in the bathtub. I think her name is like Miss Petunia or something like that. And then going all the way to the billiards room and then going to Nana's and then going to this room right here. It's just because it makes it a lot easier when walking around. This is the twins room. Now first you want to check this bunk bed because there is a speedy spirit in here. No, don't climb it. This one can be a bit annoying to get because it's all the way up there and it doesn't even give you that much money. So if you missed it, don't feel bad unless you're a 100% completionist, which for me, it depends on the game. Like if a game is easy to complete or if I just really, really want to keep playing it, then I'll 100% it. Anyways, what we want to do next is you want to spin down, spin around this helicopter mobile thing. And it can be a bit finicky. So, once you spin it around enough times, these boys appear. Hey mister, what are you doing over there all by yourself? Hey, why don't you play hide and seek with us? Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's play. Yay! Okay, we're gonna hide now. Wait outside. Okay, you can come in now. So, you can tell which box they're in by using the Poltergeist on the box. And if it doesn't shake, they're not in there. But if it shakes... There's one in there. Not bad, mister. We open this one up. Hey, that's not right. Play fair, cheater. Now it's time to fight against them. So for, what you have to do is you have to suck up uh, the vehicle that they're riding on. So I guess I'm going with this car one first. The airplane one drops bombs, so he can be a bit annoying. So be careful with that. I typically like to go for him first, but I just couldn't get him that first time around. Both are pretty annoying when it comes to it, but or when it comes down to it. Okay, got him done. <sighs> yeah, I'm probably not gonna get probably not gonna get a big pearl here either. The, oh, that was a big pearl. Oh, sweet. Nice. And I think. Unless I'm wrong, I think that's another Mario item. Yeah, that's Mario's shoe. Smells like Mario's feet. I might just cut out me searching for the booze, because you guys know how it goes at this point. Oh, hey, money. There we go. Booris. Ah. Come on. This boo is going to cause me a lot of trouble. Okay, and I think... Unless it's just another boo object. I think there's another boo in that room. I forgot to check what Egad was saying. I'll mention if it was anything important. Er, no, I guess not. I guess it wasn't in there. I guess that was just since the boo was in the room with me. That was what the Boo Radar was reacting to. Okay, so now... Um, let's see. Okay. 
You know what? There is one more Mario item that we need to collect, and I could turn in the two items that we have right now, but I'm gonna go get that third item that we need to complete everything, and then we'll go ahead and turn everything into Madame Clairvoya. So first you want to get this fire, and then you want to head up to the third floor or second floor? Okay, it's the second floor. You want to go into this room, and this is the Astral Hall. Now you want to go into the room on the right. Hmm, that's pretty weird. Let's try that again. Huh. So the way you want to do this is, let me just check these just in case there's something in them. You know what, I'll take that because I'm cut. I'm not low on health, but you know, I'm not 100% so that heart could help. You want to light all of the candles in this room. When suddenly... The room locks and we get a bunch of ghosts. We got a golden ghost, which we haven't seen in a while. We got a shy guy ghost, which I know we haven't seen in a while. We haven't seen them since the ballroom, I think. Is this just gonna be gold ghosts and shy guy ghosts? I'm just gonna like... Yeah, I guess it's just... Oh, no, it's a grabber ghost. No! Ah! I don't know if there's a more annoying ghost in the game than the grabber ghosts. I, I guess, uh... I guess the zero HP ghosts out in the hall are a bit annoying, but... You know... The grabber ghost actually affects you when you're trying to catch ghosts. The zero HP ghost in the hall... Boonswoggle. The zero HP ghosts out in the hall, they don't really affect anything because you're not trying to hunt for anything, you're just trying to get by. It was on 1 HP, come on. Come on, game. I can't tell if that went up, or if it even can go up. Please tell me it went in here. I think it did, yeah. Okay, just get in my vacuum. There you go, okay. Okay, you get it. Oh, I guess there's a, oh yeah, it's just uh, talking about plants. I guess there's another boo in here. I think one might have escaped. You know what? Now that I'm thinking back to it, I think a boo did escape me. Yeah. Lim Booger. Yeah, I, re I remember you. Okay, I think he's healed since, you know, I saved and quit. He's had a lot of time to recuperate, but that doesn't matter because we take him down. Special bit of information. Clean the place. We want her to help out the pl Okay, he's just saying the same thing about plants. Next place we're going to go to is... We actually want to head back to the Astral Hall because once you light all the candles, there is a place to the right. This is the... Observatory. I like how the ghosts sing along to the Luigi's Mansion theme along with Luigi. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to look through this telescope. And suddenly... The entire wall disappears, and now we have access to the moon. This part can be a bit tricky. Oh, come on. Yes! Okay, got it one shot. We blow up the moon.
if I had a nickel for every single time a game on the GameCube in 2001 blew up half the moon, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Mario Star. That's the last Mario item, I believe. Yep, all five. Now we just want to head back down to Madame Clairvoya and give her all the items, and so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I don't think I've mentioned, but whenever uh, it's a you're in a dark hallway and I'm just moving around to places, I like spinning Luigi in circles. You can't do it when it's all lit up, but whenever it's dark, I just love spinning Luigi in circles while I'm moving. It doesn't really hinder my walking speed, so it's a fun thing to do. I'm gonna like these candles because I, I think I did already, but just to be sure. Hmm, hmm what is this object you have here? Show it, please, to Madame Clairvoya. What is this? If it isn't Mario's glove, aha, still damp with the sweat of the living. Oh, oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits comes. Show us what we seek. Listen, can you hear it? The inner voice of your sweet, beloved Mario. Oh, horrors. What is this? A king? King Boo? What is this, King Boo? I do not understand just what he means, but beware of King Boo. This is what your brother wishes to say to you. Oh yes, a Boo who wears a crown, I see. This is King Boo. So, he is the one who has captured your Mario. I can say no more, the spirits leave me even now. Mm, what is this object you have here? Show it please to Madame Clairvoya. What is this? If it isn't Mario's shoe, why the soul is so worn as if he walked as if he has walked a thousand miles. Oh, they come. Now the spirits of sight show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan, show it. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean, can show us this Mario. Light of the spirits come, show us what we seek. Aha, I can hear it. Your brother Mario, he cries out for you. What, the power of the booze? You wish to tell us something of their mysterious boo power? Oh, harum, the booze do indeed have strange powers. When they gather in numbers, their power grows stronger. They do fear, but they do fear your mighty Poltergeist 3000. Ugh, I fear that I have only enough power within me to read one more of your brother's dropped items. My strength ebbs away. Luckily for us, Mario only has one item left. So please to Madame Clairvoya. Mario Star, what an otherworldly beauty. Could, I mean can, show us this Mario. Show us what we seek. Okay. Ah, the spirits return to me. I see, I see, I see your dear Mario. The scene appears before me. What is this? Bowser. How can this be? I see the hideous form of Bowser. Is Bowser somewhere in this mansion? I cannot believe it, and yet I see it. I thought that Mario had soundly defeated Bowser. Has King Boo somehow revived Bowser? This could be horrible. Well, for you. Ugh. Ah, no, the powers leave me, the spirits depart. This is all I can show you, Luigi. That was the last of my power, but I have given them wor words to what the spirits have shown, so I can return to my painting satisfied. Send me there now, you vac vacuum-wielding rogue. Ah, finally, I can return to my in peace to my painting. Sweet happiness and oil. I thank you, I thank you, kind Luigi. So yeah, now we gotta suck her up, and, uh... She doesn't resist too much, but sometimes she can drop poisonous mushrooms, which is like, I'm doing what you want, you goon. But there we go, we got the big orb. And now we can actually get the boo in here, as well as this chest. But yeah, that's the last we'll see of Madame Clairvoya. Got a key. And that leads all the way up to the third floor. Which means we're very close to the end of the third area. There we go. Or, never mind. I'm gonna get this Boo and then I'll end off the episode. Hi, I'm Luigi. I mean Booigi. So in Luigi's Mansion, we've got Luigi, Booigi, and Gooigi. Speaking of Gooigi, I forgot to mention 
that in the 3DS port for this game, I don't, I forget this this exists, but this game had a 3DS remake, and basically, it added in a time travel subplot where Egad from Luigi's Mansion 2: Dark Moon sends back in time uh, Gooigi, who appears in Luigi's Mansion 3, to his past self in Luigi's Mansion 1 so that Luigi can test it out for him since he knows that he's going to win in the end of Luigi's Mansion 1, so might as well. And so that's how they explained multiplayer in the Luigi's Mansion 1 uh, remake on the 3DS. There's originally supposed to be multiplayer for this game as well, like the original GameCube version, where you you played as Mario, I think, or maybe you played as another Luigi. Whatever, it would have been cool, but we didn't get it, which sucks. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on to the end of Area 3. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.